She's an ally and she's here to share her sisterly love next. When I think of the divine feminine energy, I think of this goddess, an artist in many ways. She's a dancer, choreographer, and director. I just recently had the pleasure of being directed by her in a project. She's truly an inspiration to me, inspires the woman in me. Welcome to Transcend. It's the beautiful Clarice Biagi. Hi, sissy. Hello, hello, my dear friend. Hi, sissy. <laughs> How are you? Welcome. Thank you for being here with us today. Well, thank you for I just, having me. Absolutely. I mean, I just I just want to express my gratitude to you because you've been there throughout my entire journey. I'll never forget that night when we were in Rhonda and I was having a moment and I don't even think anyone was aware of it. This was in the beginning of my process and I was really struggling at the time and I was questioning my, my choice and my decision. And I'll never forget you just walked right up on me and you said you were meant to be a woman. And that it was just like the sound of God just whispered to me in my ear and gave me clarity and gave me peace. You have been an ally and a friend to me. And I also see how you extend that same support to other trans women in the community. However, I am aware that it's not always that case. There is a difference and there's another side to the situation. Why do you think cisgender women have an issue with trans women? I it's it's a very good question and I've actually like took time to really think about my answer and I think it is actually a very simple answer and it resides in I think they truly don't see trans women as women that's simple as that it really is it it's all in there for me they do still feel like they are men still dress in women as women Agreed. And I mean, I, it takes me back into my journey. And even before I transition, I would I would hear women always say, you want to be me. You want to be just like me. You wish you could be me. And I, I, I never really took it as a read because I looked at it as I do. I want to be strong. I want to be powerful. I want to be feminine. I didn't look at it in a negative way, but I know that it, it is meant to to come off as negative. So in a time in a time of uncertainty, how does how do we like bridge the gap between the two communities? I have a feeling for me is to be out of your comfort zone, especially as cis women. Uh, I've been luckily uh, my cis friends who are around me um, don't have anything against trans women, but they do not have trans women in their life. And that's where I want to point out, well, yeah, it's not a problem to you because it's not around you. You don't have problem with them, but you are they are not part of your life. And I think that's what it's missing. It's the bridge. The, it's let me go out of my comfort zone. Let me learn from this other woman. What can she bring to my experience? Can I bring something to her experience? You know what I mean? And I think that's what's really missing is it's the, the curiosity, not even the curiosity, because we are all equal. We are all the same. It's just the openness, the openness to to feel out of your comfort, but to learn and actually like learn more about womanhood. Womanhood is a lot of different forms. It's a lot of different aspects, you know. I love that you said that in terms of speaking with your other cisgender, uh, your cis women uh, in your life. Have you ever experienced having to educate someone in regards to what it means to be trans? Like, have you ever been in a, a situation to where like you, you've heard something or you've seen something that was not okay with you? Yeah, something that doesn't sit with me is, um, and it really, it kind of like, you know, some, some cis women would say, yeah, I don't have problem, but you know, like, for example, they don't, they didn't have periods like I, like we do, you know, things like that. And I'm just like, well, I, I think I think it's 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 bigger than that. There are women that cannot have babies. Do do you consider them as uh, so you consider them women, but they can't have babies? That doesn't do you know what I mean? Like it doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, also, it's it's also a lot of them sometimes refer to the past where they were not women. They were, but it's what do you think? It, it, I think it's deeper than that. You can be still in a you know, looking like a man, but if your spirit, your true soul is a woman, that doesn't matter, the past or the present. For me, the past is still the essence of a woman, 
that is still transitioning to be a woman, to be her full potential. I mean, not to not to take take away from that, but a woman is so much more than just a period or having a baby. I mean, I just I just I get I get fuzzy because I know that you walk the walk and you like you you talk like you walk the talk like you you fight with us like I really feel I really feel connected to you and I want to know what is it that you feel connected or what is it that you relate to most about trans women The thing is my my best experience with a trans woman is my relationship with you first of all um I think it's we connect in so many deeper layers we connect in the way of of really taking taking care of ourselves of our own like feelings like okay where where am i right now am i really looking for myself am i really choosing myself before other ones you know and it's it's the true power of a woman you know for me i think i realized that it takes transition to be a woman doesn't matter that you're a trans woman i i was born as a as a girl but it took me strength and took me to fail it took me to keep learning and i'm still learning I, it's a transition to be a woman you don't you just don't become because you're a girl you have to work for it and work what i mean work is a inner work that you really have to do an inner work you really have to go through all the tribulations of your life you know to to earn that power it, it, it's 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 something you really have to dig in and i i i i think this is what we have in common i i would have to agree and i realize that not every not every trans woman is ex experiences like this, but for me personally, majority of the women that I do have in my life are cisgender women. I have more cis women friends than I do trans women friends, and I I do agree that it too is is it's about a deeper level. It's about a, this spiritual soul connection and just integrating who we were in our past and, and, and who we are in our present, and like merging the two. And I think that that's why we 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 connect on that level. I'm just so grateful you know, that we do connect in that way, you know, of course, you're just like, you're my sad soul sister, but you're also, you're also from France. So we connect on that level as well. And you just, you're just an all around goddess. Finish this sentence. Trans women are women because. Because it takes so much strength and power to really tap into you true power as a woman. It takes strength and courage. And that's what I connect to because I, I want strength and beautiful women all around me. And I need to remember my power through the experience of other women. I love that, you know, growing up, I always wanted to be my mom. And when and that was the thing, it was for me, it was the strength and it was the courage. Where does your strength and courage come from? I think, yeah, from the, you know, the women in family, my mom, the, the ancestors, you know, grandmothers, and it comes all the way further. But yeah, all these, but also like, you know, older women around me. I'm very, very uh, interested in experiences of, of older women, of women that had to do things that I never had to go through, you know, and I took that exp and I, I, I listened to these experiences and I, I keep them with me because I just remember how we all connect in one thing is that, that the way we overcome to things, the way we nurture, the way we forgive, you know, it's, mm. it's a lot of things that takes to be a woman and and I think we have to remember that it's when you're fear when you have a fear against trans women it's really truly your fear against patriarchy to be honest I don't think Ooh. it's the real, the, the real threat is not trans women the real threat is patriarchy it's the men thank you so much for for expressing that so beautifully because I that's 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 for me my biggest thing is like we're we're not here to be a threat we just want to be our most feminine divine authentic selves Clarice I love you thank you for joining me in on this conversation today I'm so grateful to have a sister in you and to be a part of the sisterhood with you Thank you so much. You look gorgeous as always. Thank you, Sissy. To watch this episode again or for more stories like these, check out our website at pluslifemedia.com and make sure to follow us at Plus Life Media. Now, until next time, be the divine, be the energy, and be a queen, period. Period.